In today's video, I'm gonna break down what's sure to be an incredible battle for a spot in the ADL Final Four Championship weekend. This game between the Minnesota Windchill and the Chicago Union features some of the game's most exciting players. Both teams have big athletic cutters downfield and very skilled handler specialists in the backfield. The Windchill and the Union have met three times this season with the Union winning two out of the three games but all their games have been close and very competitive. To start this breakdown, we'll begin with the Chicago Union. The Union are led by their center handler, Pavel Giannis. Giannis is known for dominating the backfield space and being a previous league leader in touches and assists. Pavel has a nose for the disc and always see where the disc is headed before his defender. His team knows to feed him the disc and good things will happen. Pavel is a good athlete, but what makes him so difficult to guard is his ability to catch his defender sleeping or disc watching for just a split second and he's able to take advantage and gain separation in threatening positions. He has an innate ability to get his defender on their heels and get open up line. And once he gets the disc in power position, he's lethal. His teammates have also mastered the art of the space throw, and they are able to punish any defender who tries to face guard him. Chicago runs some really well executed pull plays, normally trying to attack the break side space. While these plays can be effective, they can also be somewhat predictable. Look for Minnesota to study up on these and jump a couple of these routes. In this game, Minnesota gives up some free obvious unders on pool plays. While Pavel is a tremendous thrower, his hucks become much less threatening from a standstill. If I were Minnesota, I would front some of these cutters on the pool play to challenge Pavel and take the union out of their initial flow. Downfield, Ross Barker is an incredible athlete and a do-it-all player. He is elite at getting open downfield. Look at this clip of him finding the defender's blind spot and getting tons of separation. Chicago is deep with talent. I haven't even mentioned players like World Games teammate Nate Goff and Paul Arters, who I believe might be the most underrated player in the game right now. On the defensive end, Chicago has big athletes. They hunt any deep ball that goes up and they try to use their length to their advantage. In this game, they threw a lot of double teams and had really good success with it. They got multiple turns and were really close on some others. This big and athletic D-line is as good as it gets at creating pressure throughout an entire game and Minnesota will have their hands full trying to deal with it. Speaking of Minnesota, they have their own array of talent on both sides of the disc. Offensively, they have their own backfield savant and Andrew Roy. A. Roy is one of the brightest young stars in the league and has made a name for himself through his break throws and pace of play. One of the many things I like about A. Roy's game is how he's always bouncing and dancing around in the reset space. He not only uses the jump cut, but he just jumps around constantly throughout an entire point. He's always on the balls of his feet ready to receive a dump pass. And my favorite part about his game is how quickly he looks to move the disc from side to side. It's like he's playing hot potato with the disc. It's exactly how you want your center handler to play. He's a point guard facilitating the disc to his teammates on time and on target. While he's one of my favorite players to watch, he's still young and can make some careless turns. Occasionally, he won't move the disc with his normal pace, and when he gets stuck staring downfield for too long, he's prone to make some mistakes. Chicago's double team also seemed to rattle him throughout the game, and Minnesota decided to have someone else pick up the disc in those situations later in the game. And you can't mention Minnesota without also mentioning Abe Coffin. Minnesota quietly picked up one of the most versatile players in the entire game this season. Abe Coffin can do it all, from his giant pulls to his incredible defense. 
Abe Coffin has been an absolute revelation for this Minnesota D-line. He's able to seamlessly drift from the handler layer to the cutter layer when needed. Notice here how he cuts deep from the handler position and opens up his teammate downfield. In the biggest moments, he can make a game-changing play. Watch him make this heads-up play right here as his player is clearing. He looks at the thrower's eyes and is able to pick off the pass and later throw an assist to make a game-clenching play. Minnesota runs mostly side stack and does a really good job of attacking all the horizontal space that is on the big ADL field. They have incredibly speedy cutters and they're very experienced at running their offense. Look how seamlessly they pick apart Chicago's side stack coach defense with intelligent cutting and timing. In flow, Minnesota has always been a team that loves throwing cross field darts to receivers being poached downfield. All in all, both of these teams are incredibly well matched and the game this weekend is guaranteed to be a close one. I'd probably give the nod to Chicago with their big athletes making one or two more plays in Minnesota, but I would not be surprised at all if Minnesota came out and played clinical offense to punch their ticket to Madison. You can watch this game and all the games played this season on AUDL TV. If you like watching my videos, you'll love all the content on AUDL.TV. Comment below who you think will make it to the final four. See you next video.